Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to uh, talk about yet two more of my old stoves that I discontinued and why I discontinued them. Uh, the two I'm going to talk about today are the uh, Pocket Puck and the AT. Now, I'll start with the Pocket Puck. Um, <laughs> this is a small stove, you can see, very narrow, actually would fit in your pocket. Uh, open top, kind of like the original Mini Bowl but just a lot shorter and I've inverted the top and the bottom to give it more surface area so it's quite flat on top and bottom. Uh, this was never really a serious stove for backpacking it was just one of those things that I could build so I built it and a lot of people bought it just to add to their collection of mini bowl stoves I guess a few people used it to backpack with but you know it had some drawbacks it wasn't very big it was fairly shallow this way so it wasn't real tolerant to cold pots uh, it's flat sided so it, wouldn't, it didn't take much of a side load to dent it. Uh, it's fairly big around so it had a fairly big flame ring so you couldn't use it on anything but like a five inch pot. Uh, it didn't hold a lot of fuel. I think you can see where this is going so you know I sold one every now and then and eventually because it was kind of a non-functional thing I just dropped it. You know it was just a test thing and just did it because it could be different but it's not really a viable stove. Then, in my infinite wisdom, uh, back before things were ultra ultralight and gram weenies, I uh, came out with the AT, which is basically a giant pocket puck, but this time closed top, so it was much more efficient, much bigger, so it held a lot more fuel, and a uh, really hot stove, uh, double jetted. You know, at the time, seemed like a heck of an idea. But what killed this stove more than anything else is, it was too hot. Too big a stove, too hot. And the flame ring on it was huge, so you had to have a really big pot to utilize it. So, as people went to the ultralight Graham Weenie uh, thought train and kept going to smaller pots, this stove stopped selling because I went to smaller stoves, the smaller uh, flame rings like the Atomic, and, and this one just didn't have a place in the uh, harem anymore so um, you know after a while the sales got really low on it I went with a AT2 and put a wick on it still just too big a flame ring too much stove so you know that's the name of that tune if things come and things go um, that's the way it works I'm always building new stoves and I'm always getting rid of stoves uh, kind of guerrilla warfare in the uh, ultralight backpacking stove industry <laughs> So I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Cook some great meals with your alcohol stove. Take a friend and show him your alcohol stove. And more important than anything, have a great day. Bye-bye.